See which way that police went? Which way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, dude, they gave me a ticket for my dog not being on a leash. After I told them twice that she was a service dog. They've been, uh, they pulled me out of my van, put me in handcuffs. Yeah, just a few days ago. Yeah. They were here twice in less than an hour and ten minutes. They can call all they want. I ain't, I ain't. I want them to keep bothering me because you know what? It's building my case. Yeah, somebody's been drinking beer over here. Well, well, I see them sitting over here drinking beer all the time, but fuck, I've been sober for over a month. I sit here and drink my coffee. You know, so... But I already got a lawyer dealing with it, you know, it's, it's, and I'm, and I'm getting a, a civil litigation attorney at the moment. Oh, I don't know, but I'm not going to have to pay it. I told him twice she's a service dog, but it was the only thing on the fucking planet that they could use to give me a ticket for it. It was the only thing. And it took them 10 minutes just to find the code because they didn't even know what the fuck the ticket code was. But it's okay. Because you know what? I'm going to take care of them legally. And I'm going to totally fuck them with no Vaseline. Anytime they fuck with me now, I just talked to my lawyer today again. From now on, anytime they approach me, I'm not willing to answer any questions unless my lawyer's present. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I got a lawyer and I got a friend of mine that's running for Congress here in San Diego. And they're, they're going to make a difference. You know? So. I'm not worried about it. I keep, I keep taking uh, audio and video documentation. And, uh, yeah. But I got, I got documentation of them reaching into my vehicle to pull me out after I failed to identify after he stated he was going to give me a verbal warning. For verbal warning for anything, you don't need to identify yourself. So, they, they, and then he put me in handcuffs and left me standing there for 20 minutes while he tried to find, fucking find something on me. No! They can't! He didn't even have the right to pull me out of my van. He had no right to even reach into my van. Because I failed to identify after you were going to give me a verbal warning. That's not justifiable cause. But again, I got it all documented. And I got him on video reaching into my van. After I stated I am not going to step out of my vehicle. I've done nothing wrong. I've given, given you no reason to suspect me of having done anything wrong. So, but it's cool. I'm handling up, you know, pretty much everybody on this block knows who I am that walks past here. You know, they they all converse with me. They don't have a problem with me. It's just one cop monkey keeps making it difficult. But it's okay, because all they're doing, all they're doing is helping me build my case. So they're helping me. I don't mind it, because like I said, it's helping me build my case and them harassing me. So. Oh yeah, I'll always be okay, because I'm an educated civilian. Cops, worst nightmare. <laughs> you be safe out there, brother. See, I interact with people, as I stated earlier. Got a new container. That's nice. 
But, uh, yeah, I saw police drive through and uh, take a real long, hard look at me over here. And uh, so that was the purpose of me starting this video. Um, ended up seeing somebody else that uh, actually lives on this block. And uh, that's who, I, who you heard me conversing with. But people here know me. They like me. They don't think I'm an asshole. If they've had any kind of contact with me, that is. But I don't worry. How you doing? So, just this uh, additional documentation of everything I'm going through, I will be posting this, um, you know, just as evidence that people I converse with in the area, you know, have an opinion on it. Um, I'm also going to be posting here uh, in the coming weeks and months. Uh, other videos of me interviewing other people that are uh, going through and dealing with the same shit that I am, you know, other people that are living in their vehicles, uh, people that are actually homeless, um, you know, and there's, there's so many different people in such similar situations because this covers such a, a wide variety of people, um, it's hard to specify, you know, just homeless. You know, there's so many different derivatives and varieties. You know, to some people, they may consider me homeless. The homeless don't have money in their bank account. They don't have food over on the shelf. They don't have a stove to cook on. They don't have a, a bed and a bunk and, and a roof over their head that they can sleep in every night. You know, they... Homeless people don't have what I have. Um, I'm not homeless. I'm not. I'm touring the United States. I'm just taking my fucking time. But because I'm being harassed here, that's part of the reason why I'm staying here. My plan was to go out to Colorado. As I'm sure you've heard in uh, one of my few recent videos that I've posted, but I got no desire to do that now. I got work to do right here in San Diego. I'm going to be a key figure in the reason why things are changed. And on July 17th, you should look for me because I'm going to be on the news. This face is going to be on the news. You can bet your fucking ass. And then... Further than that, in August, there's a woman coming down from San Francisco. She's a representative of the of, of the state of California, and I'm going to be providing uh, information uh, and doing scouting for locations where they can take her, uh, so that she can see uh, the condition of San Diego and the homeless that are here and the situation that so many people are in. She's going to be out here for a few days. Uh, I believe on August 13th and 14th, uh, they're going to be, you know, taking her around San Diego to check out all these places. And then on the 15th, she's going to be doing this huge fucking press release. And there's going to be a lot of fucking press involved. And you can bet your sweet ass, I'm going to be there too. So you're going to see this face on the news at least twice in the next 90 days. Watch, keep watch, because it's going to fucking happen. We have to be decisive. We have to gather the information so that we can take care of the people 
that are having their rights, their civil liberties, violated and impugned upon on a day-to-day -day basis. It's wrong, and it's time we stand up for it. You've heard me speak about it. Now you're seeing me do something about it. San Diego is going to pay me. They're going to pay me from this, and they're going to pay me from the, the first of the two encounters that I had with the police uh, just a couple, three days ago. So that's going to happen. This is going to be a long, drawn-out process, but it's going to be worth it because you know what? I guarantee you I'm going to have six figures in my bank account by the time this is done. You can bet your fucking sweet ass. This is Stone Chef saying thank you for tuning in. And, um, yeah, stay on the lookout. Stand up to the police. If you have any kind of encounter, please record it. Whatever you do, make sure that you, <clears throat> that you record whatever the fuck happens. You need to make sure you record yourself saying, I am not going to answer any questions without my attorney present. From that point forward, they cannot ask you any questions. If they do, you got yourself a nice fucking case. Because they're not supposed to ask you any questions. Other than for your identification or for the phone number for your attorney. That is what you are you can be asked. Other than that, if they ask you anything else, that's civil liberty violation. That's cause for a case. Please, stand up to the tyranny. Stand up to the bullies. Stand up to the gang that polices our streets and is supposed to keep us safe. Till next time, as always, keep your head up, stay stoned. Peace.